All right, welcome everyone. This is Bapa Sean, and we're going to talk about the contracts board. All right, so this is the Red Moon Inn. This is where you basically start out anytime you get going here in Vermintide. Over here is the bounty board. All right, you will find when you first get started in the game that you might not have the bounty board unlocked. And in order to get it unlocked, you're going to want to complete all of the normal uh, missions, and you can do those on, on easy. So you come over to your select mission side here. All right. So you're going to find there's a couple different items based on what you've got. That was our last stand. You want to go to Ubershrike, and so you'll want to complete all of these at least on easy. And that'll unlock the contract boards. Don't worry about, hey, I can handle it on normal or more difficult. Just knock them out on easy. Get them done as fast as you can. That way you can get started the same day, perhaps, on your contract board. So we go over to here. Once we get this unlocked, all right, you'll see that I've got some completed over here on the right. You have to turn them in in order to uh, to gain them, and each day you'll get new uh, refresh here on the left-hand side. So I've kept these three because I'm not so sure I wanted this red item. I've got two keystone quests, uh, the contracts, completed towards this. These three are actually quests, and these are contracts. So you take a contract, and let's take a look at this one. So here's a contract. It says Engineer of War, easy or above. So you need to go to Engineer of War, or Engines of War rather, and then you have to def uh, pick up a grimoire. You have to find it somewhere on easy or above. And then it, as a reward, when you turn it in, you'll get increased defense for two hours. So you can plan this out. So hey, I want to get increased defense so that it'll help me in the other contracts you're going to take on harder difficulties. So these are just uh, a buff here, but you'll also notice that little gray key. That indicates it's a key stone quest and that uh, well, rather contract those uh, quests that you have they have different key contracts that need to be completed for them so once you select a quest it will show up here on the right hand side and then as you turn in completed key quest keys here it'll increase your progress until you actually get the loot and here I've got the truncheon and, uh, and triumph so it's the the mason shield all right, so what we want to do here is take a look at, are there any quests here that contain gear that we want? So I see there's a headpiece. I'm not too concerned about looking pretty. There's a repeater handgun here. That might be nice, but again, it's just an exotic item, something that I can get readily, and then another head headgear piece. So I'm not seeing anything that's going to really jump out at me. Uh, take a look at the repeater. Uh, on exotic, you can change the stats on them. This has a replenish ammunition, chance to increase your attack speed, and then, uh, oh wow, 80 to 100 percent chance of penetrating one additional target. So you can, you know, have rupture, which is kind of rare, I think, on an item. So that might be pretty nice. But I'm going to stick with this truncheon and triumph. And uh, what I'll do, since I want to pick up two more quests, is I'm going to have to complete these. So why don't I go ahead and turn in? And this was a nightmare above on black powder. So go ahead and turn that in, we'll get the reward, and you'll see how the quest has uh, moved up another dot on the progress toward completion. i got quite a bit more that I need to get. I'll go ahead and turn in, uh, well I'll pick up this one right here. So this is a, a Smuggler's Run Nightmare or Above, I'm going to accept the quest, and now you see it'll populate over on the right hand side, and it's not marked as completed. Okay, so I'm going to want to make sure that I get these over to the right hand side. Even if I don't do them today, as long as they're on the right hand side, I can do them tomorrow, come back for them. Uh, the ones on the left here, uh, ooh, another supply and demand. So yeah, you just got to check out, sometimes that there'll be multiple uh, contracts for the same board, that way you can knock out multiple contracts at the same time. The only thing you do not want to do is uh, if you have a, say this, you know, tomorrow I still have Smugglers Run on Nightmare and I get some more contracts, I don't want to ever decline something from a previous day. There's no way of getting it back. Uh, but if I decline it for today, I should be able to pick it up again and, uh, you know, move forward. So if I want to move these around from the same day, not a problem. Uh, just make sure that you don't <laughs> discard any, especially not the, the quest key uh, uh, contracts if they're from a previous day, uh, or you know, perhaps a couple days back. All right, well, I hope this is helpful to you guys on uh, completing your contracts and quests and understanding how you can move around within this system. Make sure you turn it in because it's not done until it's turned in. Also, a key note that you're going to want to remember 
is yes, you know, say you have an objective to pick up the grimoires, right? It says two grimoires found. You're not done until the mission is done. So even if you pick up two grimoires, don't think you finished, even though it shows you, you know, it might say two out of two grimoires found. If you exit out of the game, uh, exit out of that mission without completing it, you will not have the contract completed. You have to actually get to the uh, final destination and successfully on that mission, and then you'll get your contract marked as completed. Thanks again, and I'll catch you next time on Vermintide.